Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Vasila Build for Speed and today we're I'm tearing the engine. I'm not gonna be in detail, I'll tell you right off the bat. Um I don't really have the time right now. Um I'm trying to kind of get the cylinder or piston I mean out and send it out. This is the do uh, the engine that I bought from my friend uh from a 2015 uh, or 16 XC60 with 60,000 miles on it. Um well, how can I explain it to you guys? You guys will have to get this shaft off number one so you'll need one of these tool sets right here and uh, i don't remember which one i used i think i used this one here and that one uh, go through to untie this one and then i got obviously the pulley off um that's those two things and then uh once i got those off uh i moved on to the outer timing cover which is this one and then the inner uh, by loosening the chain I kind of wrapped it already I'll show you guys when I assemble this engine I'll say, so you guys can see how I assembled it and then the, to disassemble it you're going to have to just go in the reverse motion type of deal um, but I'm kind of rushing today uh, to get the engine apart but you remove the outer cover, inner cover uh, well you need to get the, the exhaust and intake uh, hubs off to get the inner cover off once you get inner cover off then you're able to take the valve cover off which i got and then i organized the tappets here and um, on exhaust side tappet number three is really burnt so my guess is this engine had a burnt valve the guy said he was running good but had a misfire so judging by that tappet there uh, this this is a cylinder one here on this side this is the one uh, on passenger side the cylinder one two three four five six pretty much so this tap it here uh, on the exhaust side this is the intake side the exhaust side the first tap it had it was burnt so my guess if i take this head off i got all the studs out the head studs already i kind of started from the outside just two two i just kind of worked myself toward the inside and the, the middle two i got the last and then i had to grind down one of my these guys <laughs> m m12 that's the one i forgot to look at it before i grinded it down m12 one of the star bits like that that's what you need uh to get this head studs off so now i got it off let me see if it moves let me see if anything is attached to it doesn't look like it here let's see here no okay so the fuel line is attached so I'm gonna have to get eight millimeter little bolt and then get it out and it should be if I just yank on it it should uh, come up well I'll tell you one thing none of you guys are ready what you're about to see it's not the piston rings that are bad on this engine that I bought this is not the engine from my car remember um, not a burnt valve <laughs> look at this <laughs> take a look at this look at this look at this this is a valve seat that came out and look how it banged up the cylinder wall i mean the cylinder uh head it's pretty rough i mean i don't know if that's repairable possibly it is repairable it doesn't look horrible but i'm sure that's repairable but as you can see all these look pretty decent this one seems like it's been getting too much fuel so either stuck injector or something i don't know what's going on with the cylinder something caused that to happen Looking at the piston, I mean the block, you see the piston? No no damage to the cylinder wall, beautiful, nice and smooth. Um, the walls, but the piston it definitely touched. You can see it's also washed a little bit in comparison to the other ones, but. As I mentioned in the beginning, as you can see, it's people did not change the oil on time. You can see this right here for 60,000 miles. That's quite a bit of burnt oil built up on it so oil is pretty bad looking you can see and it does not look too pretty that's for sure okay once we took the oil paint off got the cover off got the pump off the filter whatever you want to call this the strainer um on this just the oil pump we didn't take off we just kind of moved it aside took the pipe out as you can see the pipe that goes right here um and then we just uh, removed the cylinder two that wasn't damaged or anything like that so we removed cylinder two piston and uh yeah 
it looks yeah it looks pretty dark in here uh, for sure let me get a flashlight as you guys can see it's pretty burnt oil somebody did not really do a great job with changing oil on time that's for sure that's one thing I can tell you but probably gonna leave it like this for now until I get the rods and pistons made I'm gonna organize everything like you, you see I put in ziplock bags kind of tie them together so try to stay organized I don't have engine stand once I'm gonna be building it I'm probably by that time I'm gonna have an engine stand so I can actually properly do it but for now because I'm gonna have to remove this right here that's what holds the crankshaft so I'm gonna have to unbolt the oil filter housing from here and then unbolt these right here to remove the uh, I forget what this is called the cradle or whatever it's called uh, that holds the crankshaft remover and then remove the crankshaft remove all the rods and pistons stock ones and then insert the old ones I um, mean the new ones one thing I just don't know uh, whether should I actually get the pistons made the same exact size as original and this is how the originals look I don't know do these look forged to you these look weird this is how usually forged pistons look to me but I don't know I could be tripping but yeah this is definitely thin so the uh, upgrading the rods even though I never seen one broken Rika and L them they said they never seen one broken but um, yeah I'm gonna upgrade the rod piston and put it back together I'm probably just gonna tell them to make exact same size piston so they're gonna scan it with a little with a, what you call the 3d or whatever however they do it I'm gonna send them this original one so they can scan it and make me exact same piston well exact same di dimensions maybe strength strengthen it somewhere in places and yeah send me new piston rings and piston and everything together okay you guys so I wanted to show you guys how it damaged that as you can see right there it did a lot of damage I don't know maybe this is repairable but I don't know if it's worth it for me to go through that headache I think I'm probably just gonna disassemble my engine and swap the heads my my head on that on that block the block is perfectly fine so I'll just use that block so I'll build the block put the pistons rods in there assemble the block once it's ready I'm gonna take my engine out swap the heads and that's it but you can tell it's like it got washed so one of the injectors or something was messed up I did the spark plug looks good so I, I almost positive the inject one of the injectors glitched and it was dumping fuel washed it overheated it and then valve seat just lifted up and you can see the valve it has damage on it too so but it's not bent which is really shocking to me as you guys can saw that it was really like sideways but yeah this is one of the first things i you know one of the first i see this happen on this engine this is a really weird one to me but yeah that's it so we got one of the pistons out like what we wanted to send out the wiseco to get built with everything i'm just gonna probably send it with the rod and they'll send it back to me once they're done so they can take it apart this is a good piston no, no damage on it you know so nothing bad on it so we're gonna send it out i'm probably just gonna organize everything put it together you know put it in one place somewhere uh with ziploc bags and all that but yeah this head is i'm probably not gonna use it. i'm probably gonna swap my head onto onto this uh, block once it's ready so that's gonna be for it for today's video um i just want to show kind of tear apart like a quick one uh, how I kind of tore it apart and because I needed the piston um, to send out to Wisco and then I want to make I wanted to make sure it was the right one because I know uh, the cylinder head and stuff is different from 2010 to 2013 2014 to 2016 cylinder head is different and I heard that the pistons are sizes or whatever is different too so I didn't want to risk it so I wanted to make sure it's a VIN 90 2014 to 2016 I think it's the the fourth and fifth digit of your VIN number it's a VIN 90 uh so that has to match also because i think that's the new style cylinder head and the engine pretty much so i wanted to make sure i get i had the right one so i took it apart and like i said i got the piston here i'm gonna send it out with the rod most likely uh let me see if i can get this more light but yeah that's this the piston with the rod uh so i'll send it out to them get them going the, the rods are already in process so it's been i think two weeks so they said four to five weeks so we got another two three weeks to go on the rods i don't know if that's before i think pretty sure that's just to make them um i made three extra rods because they required me to to order four sets so i'm gonna sell the other three for pretty cheap to my fans um but yeah i think i have one reserved already but yeah 
uh, I have two more uh, but yeah the piston I'm gonna send out to Vaisco have them custom make it for me and uh, yeah for now I'm just gonna organize everything and we wait until then and then we'll be probably making more videos with the P2R the built a 60R and stuff but other than that yeah I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you guys have any questions or comments comment comments below I'll do my best to answer them and as usual see you next time